If there is one strength I have, it's it's dialogue. And when yeah, I was a kid, yeah, yeah. and when I was watching Humphrey Bogart, mm. who also had a stammer. Which I didn't know. There you go. Humphrey Bogart and Cary Grant and all mm. of the old film noir and all the old screwball comedies. Yeah. Everyone speaks really fast. Everyone is speaking really smart. Everyone has the perfect comeback for the perfect moment. Yeah. And I was just in awe. I was a kid who couldn't speak. And to see this... Um, just rapid fire, yeah. His Girl Friday, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The Big Sleep, all of this wonderful, wonderful stuff. And, um, it's almost hard to keep up with those movies, yeah, the yeah, pace of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and the first time I met you, Ryan, you did my first live radio interview, and we talked about The West Wing, yeah. which is a direct, a direct a descendant of the screwball, of the noir, that level of dialogue. Okay, so tell me how the, the noir, and I remember that West Wing conversation we had because it stuck with me ever since. Tell me, and tell our friends watching tonight, how you go from screwball comedy and that sort of, I want to go in there, I mean, I want, that sort of thing, and West Wing and so on, to overcoming a stammer then. What's the connection? It's... Well, first of all, it's the, when all of, th of this happened, when I took my love of dialogue mm. and I put it into a book and the book was sold and the book was published and suddenly I was faced with the possibility of coming on TV and doing interviews or radio or, you know, standing on stage in front of hundreds of, of young people, yeah. which is not an a easy thing to do at the best of times. Mm. But I suddenly, you know, and my publicist, my publisher were all going, can he do it? Can he, he yep. you know, or really just stand on stage and hesitate and stammer and, you know. And I decided I have a choice. I could either, I could either let it control me or I could take everything that had, ha had happened, take the book and the money and the sudden immense glory <laughs> um, and the fact that I'd gone from the black sheep of the family to the golden child, <laughs> which, 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 which never gets old. I'd say your siblings are, yeah. they love oh, that. They, yeah. they, they just love, love that, it, they yeah. love it so much. And I could, I could change and I could yeah. adopt all that and, and assume it. And it yeah. basically, the, what I've figured out is that the way to beat a stammer, for anyone who has a stammer out there, um, the way to beat the stammer is to be arrogant, so not a nasty kind of arrogance, but a, a warm, gentle, friendly kind of arrogance <laughs> that I possess in spades. Um, and it's basically, it's, I don't care what you think, and I don't care. I love you people, you're very, very pretty audience, possibly the best looking audience I've ever seen, but I don't care what you think, and I don't, you know, I'll, I'll, st I'll stammer right there, and I don't care. And I don't care what yeah. you think, and I don't care. Are you lying to yourself with that confidence? Do you, it do you, starts... Are, are you really that confident, or do you no, need to... Do you, do you, is no. that a, a, a bravado, a facade it's, for you to it, get over? It, it, it starts out as a lie, and then it grows to be a shield. Yeah. And then you inhabit the shield, and suddenly you become what you've been pretending to be all along. I want to talk about...